Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading for January 12th, 2021. Please show me what Scorpio needs to know here or see. Thank you. I love you. Hope you guys are awesome today. Here's your first card. Page of coins in the reverse. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. So it feels like you're waiting for money or you're waiting for a message. Oh, someone's a no-show. Someone is not going to show up when they said they would. Or something's not going to show up. Something or someone is going to be a no-show. How? Um, they're going to say they're too busy. Nine of Wands in the upright. They're going to say they have to finish something. Or that's what they're actually doing. But it feels deceptive because it's in the reverse. This is someone being careless, over scheduling. The why? Judgment in the reverse. Someone made a bad decision. It feels like someone rushed something, made a, made a bad decision because they were in a hurry. They were just trying to tie things up. And now they're missing an action. <clears throat> How you're going to feel. Seven of swords in the reverse. Turning the tables. Could be getting some advice. Somebody, um, somebody could have said they did something, but they didn't. They left something unfinished or really sloppily finished and you could be getting advice or you could be turning the tables in some way. Or you wanted to talk to them about it and ask them why they did this. And they don't, they don't show up. They disappear. But you were, you were trying to, you're trying to make sense of this, of somebody not showing up or somebody saying they did something, but they didn't. Somebody made a bad decision. They might've tried to hide it as well. And you're trying to um, get the full story from them. You could be trying to contact them. They're not answering the phone or they're not answering your messages. They might be saying they're busy. But someone's unavailable. The Ace of Swords in the reverse. This could be the birth of something. Trying to start something new. Somebody could be trying to get pregnant. Or somebody is pregnant. Or somebody, yeah, some, it feels like somebody could be pregnant. It could be, um, this feels like, like not thinking straight at the time. I feel like something's coming to term and I feel like somebody is a no-show here. Somebody's like the father maybe. Somebody's not showing up. Somebody could be saying it's not mine. This is also someone trying to keep the truth. 
in a box, kind of trying to keep some kind of truth concealed. Strength in the reverse. Someone met their match. Someone made you weak. Somebody could have fooled you. I feel like you went along with somebody in starting something. For some of you, this is a baby. It, you know, it feels like, um, like you did something or you started something. You were being deceived at the time. You thought that this was a more stable relationship or workplace or whatever the situation is, you made um, a decision based on faulty logic, but you thought you knew what you needed to know. Now something is starting and you're on your own. Somebody is a no-show. So you're having to be very strong and I feel like you're tired. But you're preparing yourself for something. I really feel like somebody is having a baby, an unexpected pregnancy. The chariot in the revert, or sorry, in the upright. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, this is, uh, this is something going full steam ahead with or without somebody helping you. This is doing something alone. There's only one person in this chariot. This is also traveling. This also feels like blocked travel. So that could be because of all the restrictions. You could be getting advice or trying to figure out how to bridge some kind of gap, like how to um, get somewhere. Because it feels like you're trying to get somewhere, but you're not getting any information. You're getting stonewalled. You're not getting any satisfaction. You're, you're, yeah, and back to trying to find answers. Maybe getting advice from someone about how to start something. It feels like you're banging your head, like you've run out of ideas. And this feels like you are forced to do something yourself. Like you, it feels like you thought you were doing something with someone else, but they're not there. They're not showing up. You have the star in the reverse. So this is feeling very unsettled. You don't have a feeling of peace about this impending birth, this impending start. It feels like you're going on adrenaline. This feels This feels very tired and it feels like um it feels like you don't feel like you have many options here. It also feels like um when you do try to talk to people that that they they judge you. In the why, you have the Six of Swords in the reverse. So this is speaking up, making yourself heard. This is also speaking very clearly, very intelligently. Like it feels like you're bumping up to closed doors. People are judging. They're not wanting to even help. <clears throat> Excuse me. This does feel like um, exposing something, telling the truth, exposing something, exposing someone um, for being immoral, for being deceptive, for leaving you out in the cold. Five of coins in the reverse. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is confusion. 
I'm I'm picking up on like Jedi mind tricks. My like somebody, somebody was um, even when they were there, they weren't there. They were blocked off. They they didn't share anything. Very very closed off. Left you in the dark. You're wanting the truth. You're not getting it. You're moving on anyway on your own. You have no choice. But for some of you, you have um, you have a baby coming. And I, I feel like you're trying to be optimistic about this, but it this looks like a, a really difficult reading. I feel like you have to tell the truth. I'm trying to... You've got judgment in the reverse and you've got strength in the reverse. It feels like you don't have the... Like the energy to tell the truth. You don't have the will or you don't... Um, you don't think anybody will listen to you. No one will listen to you. No one will listen to you. Wow. Scorpio. Knight of Swords in the upright. This is someone figuring things out. This is someone um, seeing sense. Maybe you're supposed to tell an air sign. But this is someone coming quickly or you moving quickly and making sense of something. In a way, this feels like... There's this card here. It really feels like you're, you're waiting... Um, you're worrying, you can't stop whatever's happening, it's coming quickly, it is going to bring clarity. So it, it feels like something is, something scary is, is happening, you're doing something on your own, it feels like you're tired, it feels like you feel judged, it feels like you're, um, but you have a lot of energy here, so you are doing what you have to do. bottom of the deck nine of coins in the reverse feeling needy <clears throat> excuse me feeling needy feeling lethargic two nines I'm really getting birth all over the place here so let's recap Someone not showing up. Someone not showing up. You're doing something on your own, on a journey by yourself, leaving a situation behind. You don't know where you're going. In the how, nine of wands in the upright. Something coming to completion. The stars in the reverse. This was destined. This feels like um, it doesn't feel like a blessing right now. But it is. This is a blessing in disguise. I feel like you're going to see the truth when whatever is being birthed this could also be a business. You could be going out on your own. You could be um, like starting a new business by yourself. You don't have any money. You're feeling like you're blocked. You could be feeling like you're giving up hope. But something is being born here and something is coming quickly. Um, it could be something that's coming quickly to your aid because you're in need. I feel like the truth... In some way, you have to, this could be your reputation, clearing up your reputation somehow. You need to speak. You might have to um, tell people why you're doing something or what your dreams and wishes are, what you're trying to create. Because it feels like people don't understand, so they're judging. 
They don't understand what you're doing or why you're doing it. I'm feeling... Um, I feel like people are seeing you as being um, deceptive yourself. Like, kind of what I was picking up a minute ago, that they don't understand. So you need to clear something up. Because people are feeling like you're not telling them anything. You're keeping information from them. This could be them feeling blocked by you as well. Getting advice. I really feel like this is saying, talk to someone about your situation. This feels like you don't have many options. But you need to speak up. You need to talk to someone. You need to speak up. You need to speak up. You need to... You need to... You know what it is? I feel like this is also a very stubborn energy. Not wanting to ask for help. But that's what your advice is. You need to ask for help. This is feeling needy. This is speaking up about it. Um... It feels like this is this goes against your moral convictions. But it feels like this is actually your lesson, that you need to ask for help for something. Um, I feel like if you're if if you're someone who has been um, left out in the cold by someone and you're also pregnant, I feel like this person, is completely blocked and um, like out of touch, out of touch with morals, out of touch with doing the right thing, like just a lost person. You might have blocked them or they might have blocked you. I feel like this is someone who is judgmental because they're actually protecting themselves from their own lack of integrity. They don't want to know the truth. But yeah, I feel like the main message here, for whatever it is that you're starting, this is a birth of something that's not getting off the ground because of some kind of blocks. You need, you need to ask for help. You need to speak up, speak up, speak up, speak up. Because you're, you're left here um, wondering. You're left here with no answers. You have to speak up in whatever way is relevant for you. Because you're doing a lot on your own. And you're getting very, very far on your own. But you are. You're, you're, you're hitting some kind of wall here. And you need some assistance to get, to get past the last part. But yeah, I'm seeing nines all over the place. So for somebody, it, it's, um, it's a pregnancy, a solo pregnancy, and you need some help. You need, to, you need to get people to understand the deception that you've been under or how you've been deceived and why you're out on your own in the cold um, so that they'll be more understanding and less judgmental because it feels like people are judging you because they don't know the truth. They might have even been um, fed some kind of misinformation. You need to put it right. And I feel like you need to do this, <clears throat> excuse me, quickly. All right, Scorpio, that's your reading and have a great week. Bye now. Love you.